Mimi kwa kweli cha kwanza kabisa nimefurahi sana kuja butia matena. Mara ya kwanza nikuja nilikuwa naenda kutembea sirani. Nilikuwa kati mkuu wa biashara na uwekezaji. Nilikuwa na kuangalia soko kwa sio hata kama cha kabisa. Niko pale mpakani na kutembelea kituo cha pamoja cha biashara lakini hamu yangu kubwa ilikuwa kwenda pale kwa mwalimu. Na kwa sababu sote wa Tanzania wote kisikia jina Nyerere kwa kweli tunajisikia Tanzania wetu tunaongezeka. Kwa kuja hapa kwenye chuo cha mwalimu Nyerere kwa kweli ni furaha kubwa sana. Na nawashukuru sana kwa mapokezi mazuri na taarifa yote ambayo tumeipata na kwa wote kutembea na kuangalia mambo yote. Pamoja na kwamba tulipitia na Veta nimeona timu ya Veta vile vile imekuja imeshakuja hapa. Kwa asanteni sana. Sasa labda nije tu kusema kwa vyote vile kwa vivyote vile lazima chuo hiki kianze kusajiliwa na funzi mwaka huu. Si kwamba haikufanyika kazi e, tangu uongozi uchaguliwe na kushukuru sana profesa alichosema. Chuo kikuu kina majukumu makubwa mawili. Kufundisha na kufanya utafiti acha leo viko vio vikuu ambavyo kufundisha ni kama hakuna ni utafiti zaidi. Na hapa ndani ya nchi yetu kuna chuo kikuu cha Nelson Mandela African Institute of Technology Arusha pale. Hakina undergraduate. Kinafundisha masters tuna PhD. Kuna mmoja hapa akapata PhD yake pale. Kuna wanafunzi wachache. Chuo kikuu kikifundisha bila kufanya utafiti to be nothing but a glorified high school. wakati mwingine kuna kujisahau kudhani kwamba lazima una wanafunzi tu basi walimu ndio kufundisha 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 high school tu for 5 na form 6 kwa chuo kikuu kikifanya utafiti kinakuwa kimetimiza majukumu yake kwa na furai sana kwamba pamoja na kwamba hujaanza kudahili wanafunzi e, mmeniambia mna machapisho karibu 60 katika katika majono mazuri makubwa na kwamba kufanya ranking hapa nchini tu kwa machapisho na, na unajua vyo vinakuwa rank kwa machapisho. E, sio kwa matokeo wanafunzi kwa machapisho. Wana rank kwamba quality ya malecha na pale koje nyie pamoja kwamba mna wanafunzi bado mko juu ya baadhi ya vyo vikuu hapa nchini Tanzania. Na hilo ningependa watu wajue sana majukumu mawili. Kufundisha na na, na kufanya research. Mtazungumza kidogo kuhusu research Matu, tunachotarajia kwenu. Lakini hilo nawapongeza kwa pamoja na ufinyu wenu ambao basically mlikuwa watatu tu hapa ambao wote mko kwenye administration eh bado mmeza kusimamia research mpeleka watu wameenda kusoma wamerudi kwa sasa hii miguu miwili swala la ufundishaji utaanza mwaka huu kila namna lazima ilo lifanyike lisipofanyika sijui nitamwangalia vipi usoni bunge wa hapa butia marafiki yangu sana ndugu yangu Sajini ambaye ndo alinikaribisha serikalini wakati naingia kama naye wakati mkuu hazina yeye alikuwa wakati mkuu atameseme lakini tutawaambia nini wa Tanzania tutawaambia nini watu wa hapa kwa hilo litawezekana lakini changamoto ni kubwa changamoto ni kubwa moja wakati waadhiri wanajitambulisha nilisema naomba kila mtu asimame aeleze levo yake na eneo lake la specialization Nimesikiliza wote najua kabisa TCU haiwezi kutoa kibali cha kwanza kuna ile wanafunzi hapa Unaweza kuwa na PhD moja ya veterinary science huwezi kuna ile wanafunzi wa veterinary science Kwa aina specialization iko so spread so diverse hakuna cluster yenye density ya kutosha kusajili wanafunzi na bado tutafanya juu chini tutasajili wanafunzi 2023 hilo litafanya na tutaeleza watu wake ndugu lakini na mwelekeo wetu huko tunakwenda lazima tuwe focused tuna recruit nani ku specialize kwenye nini na hili ni, ni maudhui makubwa sana ya ujio wangu hapa 
mbona kuna mtu wa ICT pale kuna mwingine wa agriculture economics pale kuna mwingine wa absomani ni physics pale kuna mwingine wa chemistry pale hivyo TCU kwa taratibu zetu utatoa degree gani ya physics uwezi ya chemistry uwezi agriculture economics almost lakini walikuwa wawili kama sikose sio eh? shida kwa hakuna kwenye nani hiyo na training yetu recruitment yetu going forward has to be focused kama tunataka nini kwanza tuangalie tunaenda wapi tunataka nini ili tuangalie tunamhitaji nani na tunamsomesha kwenye nini kwa hiyo namna ya kupita hapa lazima kuangalia namna ya kutafuta temporary staff wa hamishio. kwa muda hapa kwa ile degree ambayo tutaanza nayo tulete wakae hapa ufundishaji uendelee kwa sababu ni serikali moja tunazo tukagarantii kwamba they cannot run away Eh, kwa kutaka hapa afu tutaendelea tutafundisha wakati tunaendelea kufundisha lakini fedha za kusomesha za hit nikumbushe tumjaribu kutoka upendeleo kidogo kwenu lakini na nyinyi mwe focused ili muendelee mwe mwe focus kwenye vitu ambavyo unaweza mkafanya zile degree pale nilivyoziona pale zote zile sana ambition that can never be attained and if you attain those number of degrees the call to take a nose dive for sure kwa muda mwingi tumetengeneza hizo tumeshatumia resources lakini there is no way university of dar salaam ilianza na degree moja tu ya sheria na wanafunzi nadhani 12 if i'm not mistaken Do, progressively kwa na build capacity kila mahali kwa hiyo tukaanza na law ikawa east africa ukitaka kusoma medicine unaenda makerere ukitaka kusoma engineering unakwenda nairobi ukitaka kusoma Lo unakuja Dar es Salaam. Kwa hiyo ilianza kama University College of London 1961 University of Dar es Salaam. Makere na nyu hivyo na Nairobi baadaye kaonekana sasa tujisingeje kutoka kule hizi za tatu za Afrika Mashariki zi constitute one university. So ikawa University of East Africa. Ikiwa na chancellor wake alikuwa anaitwa Julius Kambarage Nyerere. Dogo hilo. Eh? Chancellor wake ndio maana utaona kuna picha moja mwalimu Nyerere ana confer honorary degree kwa Jomo Kenyatta kwa sababu he was the chancellor wa University of East Africa court Makerere Nairobi na Dar es Salaam kwa Makerere kama kuna mtu anaenda kutoa degree alikuwa anaitwa visitor unafaa visitation kwa tuko kwa university moja campus hizo kubwa tatu na specialization medicine Makerere engineering Nairobi law huko capacity zikaanza kwa belt mimi kwa sababu nafanya economics najua alikuja professor kutoka Denmark akaanza kujenga idara ya uchumi na kurekrut walimu na kurekrut walimu na kuwajenga wakati wote tunasomesha watu kina Justina Rema wapelekwa mpaka Harvard kwenda kusoma economics kina professor Delphine Regasira naye alienda Harvard huko kupeleka top university wakaja wakajenga ile idara na that happens in all departments ilivyofika mwaka sabini kaonekana kila chuo hivi tatu vimeshajifika vya kutosha vikawa sa University of Dar es Salaam 1970 University of Nairobi University of Makerere that's when zilianza ku, ku separate havikuanza hata kabla ijaanza kufundisha na degree zote na karika la mwizi kwa sababu hizi zinatengenezwa na nani kwa walimu wenyewe hapo kwa hiyo going forward let's be focused hii kazi ni nzuri iwekwe lakini let's be focused sawa jamani tu realistic kwa namna moja hiyo ya kwanza ni utafuta walimu choose what you want to teach utafuta walimu wawili watatu wanne ili muweze kupata TCU muweze kufundisha tutatafuta sokoine tutatafuta Tanzania tutahamisha kama serikali tutaongea nao watakuwa located hapa kwa muda wakati tunaendelea kutrain hilo moja lakini possibility nyingine ni kujenga collaboration teaching sisi kwenye economics master's degree for a while tuko tunafundisha wenyewe lakini tulivyo up the standards tukana collaborative master's program in sub saharan africa na tulikuwa na board moja incidental ilikuwa mwenyekiti wa board mimi kabla sijateuliwa kuwa naibu katibu mkuu wizara ya fedha nilichaguliwa akra gana nchi nairobi university ghana university botswana e, zote hizo ni zile ambazo hazikufikia viwango zilikuwa zinawaleta wanafunzi Dar es Salaam tunachukua wanafunzi kutoka university nyingine by that time makerere was not even allowed to offer that masters 
Kwa hiyo kutoka Makerere wanakuja, Zambia wanakuja, Burundi walikuwa wanakuja hapa Tanzania kusoma. Kwa hiyo university ambazo zilikuwa zinazokatoa hiyo degree ilikuwa ni Botswana, Zimbabwe, Malawi, Dar es Salaam, Nairobi, eh, Addis Ababa, um, Ghana na Nigeria kule Ibadan na Yaounde kuna university inaitwa 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 Benin kule kule na Yaounde wenyewe walikuwa wanafundisha uh, uh, Cameroon kwa hiyo pamoja kwamba ni well established universities by that time Zambia could not offer that degree ya masters Makere could not kwa wanafunzi wengi walikuwa kuja pale Dar es Salaam wanakuja kusoma pale wanatoka Zambia wanakuja kusoma pale University of Dar es Salaam wanatoka Uganda hata wa Kenya walikuwa wanakuja wengi so we had a collaborative program na tumeanzisha collaborative program ya PhD ambayo is still running. Na ina board moja academic board ambayo is universities may sign agreements that almost is like a senate. Wana discuss matokeo wanapeleka half senate iliyobaki huko ina endorse. Na university pekee zilizochagulwa kutoa PhD by dissertation by by course work and dissertation za economics. Ilikuwa ni Cape Town na Pretoria lakini Cape Town ikawa ni host kwa unaweza kawa admitted Pretoria unaenda kufanya Cape Town na kuja kumalizia Pretoria. Dar es Salaam na Nairobi. Dar es Salaam was the host. Unaweza kawa na admitted Nairobi lakini Nairobi was not even haikufikia level ya kuweza kutoa Coswick. Vitu vingine watu hawajui. Wanakuja wanaoingia wanakuja kusomea Dar es Salaam tumwafundisha sisi. Alafu wakati wakwenda kuandika wanarudi wanaenda kuandikia Nairobi wengine wanabaki Dar es Salaam. Kwa hiyo tumwafundisha wanafunzi wengi sana kutoka Afrika nzima walikuwa wanakuja kufanya PhD economics collaborative program. Kwa hiyo how? Alafu university nyingine ambayo ilikuwa inaweza kufanya vile ilikuwa ni Nigeria. Ilikuwa Ibada ikishirikiana na Benin ndani ya Nigeria. Halafu yaunde tu Cameroon. Afrika nzima. Tunatoa kwa kuna collaboration hiyo inaweza kufanyika. If we could do it across borders, we can do it within our borders. Bado mnaweza mkakaa chini, mmesema mna MOU nyingi sana, mkaangalia namna kuwa na collaborative programs. Kwa yale ambayo hamwezi kufanya hapa yakafanyika, mkakubaliana kwa mfano, kuna walimu hapa wakuweza kusupervise. Wakawa admitted sokoine kama ni masters, wakawa supervised hapa kama kuna capability hiyo. And that, that can also be can also be done. Kuna utaratibu wa kutoa double degree watu wa chocha ardhi professor jackson uliacha uli double degree mnafanya nyie sokoine na ni chocha ardhi pale wana admit wanafunzi anafanya degree hiyo hiyo tanzania na sweden you get a double degree kuna sandwich program watu wanaenda kufanya course wiki somewhere else wanakuja kumalizia somewhere else sisi watu wengi ku economics department walikuwa wanafanya sandwich program wanaenda lund university wanaenda wanasoma kule wanakuja wanaandika hapa wengi wengine ni watu wakubwa sana hapa serikali sasa hivi wakubwa tu lakini kwa mfano unaweza kutoa mfano mmoja wapo alikuwa katibu mkuu Zara Fedha dr Alikulile Mungu amlazimu alipema peponi alifanya hivyo una 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 una, una kwa admitted Lund na Dar es Salaam unaenda unafanya course wiki Lund unakuja unamalizia Dar es Salaam so hizo possibilities zote zio explored going forward Tusije tukaji restrict tu kwa program ambazo tupo sasa hivi. You, you can work with any other university here. Unazungumzia technology kuna Mbea. You can have that kind of arrangement going forward. Lakini tuifanye kitu ambacho substantive. Lazima uwe kama ni supervision kama mtu anaenda kufanya course kule na kuja kuandikia hapa, you must have supervision capability here. Lakini unaweza kuwa na supervision capability lakini ukawa na watu wawili hawezi ku a master's program. Kwa maana hiyo mnakubaliana na university nyingine unakuwa na sandwich program baadaye mnaweza mkatoa degree ya hapa kama umeshapata accreditation kama mjapata wanaweza kaipatia kule lakini you have played a part and that helps to build a capacity going forward and tuliongea ofisini tukiwa na mwenyekiti we you guys must must explore all those possibilities if we are done that hata save tungekuwa tayari tuna baadhi ya wanafunzi wanasoma kuna watu wanasoma by thesis only na kwa sababu hamna accreditation hamwezi ku admit watu hapa but through MOU wanaweza kuwa admitted kwenye university nyingine alafu wakakaa hapa wakawa supervise na mtu ambaye hapa ana capability ya kusupervise wakitoka kuna input ya hapa alafu kuna output ya kule sasa kubwa ambalo ningependa kulizungumzia kabla kujiingia kwenye research ni kuwa focused 
Hiki chuo kinaitwa Mwalimu Julius Kenyerere University of Agriculture and Technology. Agriculture comes first. There's a meaning for it. Ina maana yake. Kwa hiyo tunatarajia technology iwe ni nini? Ya agriculture. Mostly to keep, if we spread ourselves widely, I, I believe me, you will spread yourself thinly. You are not going to get enough budget. Call to Novda, North Dive. Itakwenda hivyo. Kwa hiyo hata kama hapa mnatoa education degree education iwe degree education in agriculture kwa sababu tunafurisha walimu wengi wako wapi mkoa wanatoa walimu dusa wanatoa walimu si ndio university da salama wanatoa walimu mzumba wanatoa walimu sasa so kuna wanatoa walimu si ndio what is your niche to repeat the same thing you expect different results lakini huko tunakoenda ambapo tunataka elimu ya mafunzo ya amali ninapendelea hii temu ya wazanzibari kuliko mafunzo ya fundi study sasa so, ukizungumzia fundi study watu wanadhani ni nyundo na na, na, na spana lakini actually fundi study maana hata kilimo hata mziki, hata sports na kadhalika wenzetu Zanzibar wanatumia neno mafunzo ya amali na dictionary sanifu mafunzo ya amali ni practical skills kwa hiyo kwa sababu tunakwenda kwenye kubadilisha curriculum tutahitaji kuwa na mafunzo ya amali kwenye shule zetu tunahitaji walimu waliofundishwa mafunzo ya amali hapo zamani pakaandaliwa shule ya Kleru chuo cha walimu kwa ajili ya mafunzo ya amali hakifanyi hivyo pale Mtwara kuna vyo vya walimu viwili vimekaa kabisa vimeka eneo kubwa kweli kweli huku mmoja wanafundishwa walimu wa kawaida huku suppose ni walimu wa fundi kwa hiyo mmoja anaitwa Mtwara ufundi nyingine Mtwara kawaida lakini zote ni Mtwara kawaida kwa sababu mna Mtwara ufundi Karakana zimefungwa na mashine zoletwa ziko kwenye zimefungiwa huko. Nish yenu kama mnafanya elimu hapa, fanyeni degree ya elimu kwenye kilimo. Nilikuwa na hapa story na niseme hapa tena. Ukisoma historia ya Askof Kweka. Askof Kweka alikuja kuwa mkuu wa KKT Tanzania. Yeye miaka 1955 na sita nadhani. Aenda kusomea ualimu marango kamaliza karudi anafundisha akaambiwa na serikali hiyo ya koloni huko nenda nenda kasomea kilimo kidogo ili wanafunzi hao wafundishe practical issues mafunzo ya mali akaenda kile chuo cha Arusha kinaitwa Tengero eh mbaje tulikuwa tuna walimu wa kutosha and then colonial time and they felt the need to make sure that the teacher trained teacher also acquire some practical skills to impart to students sasa tumeabanda na hali na rais wetu sana aingiza turudi huko wazo zuri sana litatupeleka mbali sana kwa hiyo nishi yenu hapa mkitaka kutoa elimu tu bachelor of education ni nini ni, hiyo hiyo watamaliza tutaingia mtaani kwa sababu duso wanatoa musa wanatoa ud wanatoa mzumba wanatoa sokoni wanatoa wengi wanatoa tumaini wanatoa sitogas wanatoa wengi lakini mkienda kwenye degree ambayo inaendana na agriculture wakawa wanafundishwa pedagogical na ita hiyo lakini wakafundishwa fish farming vitu ambavyo watafundisha shuleni watafundishwa green housing watafundishwa beekeeping watafundishwa vitu ambavyo vinaendana na nani wakitoka hapa watafundisha shule zetu wakati wote mbaliza mbalisha mitala they will be extremely useful and will need them immediately watapata employment lakini wasipopata employment watakuwa wamepata skills ambazo wanaweza kaingia wenyewe wakajiajiri kwa kwa kweli hii sipendagi kusema neno maagizo lakini tutaongea na mtaenda kuongea na chance. Sioni why do you want to reproduce what is going on there? They say you do the same thing time and again and expect different results. You be what? Not. Kwa hakuna namna tunaweza tukafanya kichwa kwa useful kama tutakwenda kule. Hiyo ni focus. Lakini pili but rather than spreading yourself to so many things, pick a niche na kwanza sasa hivi watu wakafundishwa kwenye hilo eneo. Nimeomba nimeelekeza muende Northampton. Na na nani muende mkaangalie. Roma mtulikuwa wote. Kile chuo kilikuwa kikubwa si kama hapa tu. Kile kina eneo kubwa. Go and look at the university. In advanced country. 
Afu angali wana wafundisha. Mambo ya mespecialize kwenye ngozi. Kwa ana degree hizi, university nzima. Bachelor of Technology, uh, Bachelor of Science, I think it's in, in leather technology, something like that. Af Bachelor of Arts, Fashion and Design. Kwa hivyo, anayefanya fashion design, anajifuza kutengeneza mikoba kina mama, kutengeneza majaketi, kutengeneza viatu, na wanasema wana umaliza pali, wote, 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 wote wanapata kazi. Wote wanapata kazi. Wouldn't it be wonderful if you build up collaboration with them? Leather is a product of agriculture. Na nyemu nasebu, mnazumzia mambo ya value edition pali, mnaitaje ili, bio, 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 bio processing. It's, it's, it's one of the component of bio processing. Eh? Sa hii, kwa hiyo, Quickly look at where you can focus. Now, this focus should be reflected in how you train people. This scattering is not going to help us. Kabisa. Now, kwaza huamta weza. Paka mjimu mjenge, kapasite hiyo itakuwa mda mrefu. By the time napata watu wote hawa, hizi mitale itakuwa tayari, inaitaji tena review. So by far better to have a focus and teach and build capacity and we will expand slowly as time goes. Itakuwa more useful. Na wala msikimbile sana with a huge number of students. Ndiyo mana wasema hata mabwenye ya tengenezeni kistarabu kama tufuzumza pale. Tengenezeni kama naongeza mabwenye mingini lakini tengenezeni wanafuzu wakaya relatively university-like. Alafu tuende mbele kwa sabi kwa jaza sana wanafuzi tunabrutalize hafu kuna yale mambo mengine mengine ambayo huwende ile ile Excessive population pressure in a high society. So, as you are saying, we come in and for the first time we come to campus here. We have your view, but in Mara, to not take you in a choke. By Mara, we come its own universities. But in Kamana Vosema, it's good to dream big, but to be practical, really, you have to be focused. You have to do something that is meaningful and that actually gives results. So, as a course of research, I am going to Mwaja ni wambie ni kitu kimoja kusu kilimu. Umasikini watu wapa nchini kwa kweli kwa sabi ya kilimu chetu kiko, kinatidi ya ndogo. Hilo tu. E simple. Na solution yake hiko kwenye research. Na dissemination of the research output. Problem ya agriculture Tanzania ni low yield. It's low productivity. Na hakuna mfano mzuri kama sasa hivi. I remember wakati nikiwa waziri wa kilimu walikuwa nasema watu wanashanga. Our focus ni kwamba mazao tunazalisha kwa ajili ya sisi wenyewe kutumia yao na bei ndogo kadri inavyowezekana lakini wakulima hawa mazao wapate fedha nyingi kadri inavyowezekana you maximize income to farmers and minimize price to consumers locally the only way you can do that ni kuongeza yield kuongeza productivity kuongeza tija mtu ambaye alikuwa anapata magunia kumi ya mahindi kwenye eka Akawa naoza kilo moja shilingi miatano, akafikia magunia hamsini kwenye eka. Kilo moja naoza kawa shilingi miamoja hamsini, nabado wakapata hila nyingi zaidi kuliku wakati wanavuna magunia. E, you work out that way. Kwa mba, uongeze output per effort. That's called productivity. Output per area is called yield. If you increase output per effort, including the fertilizer you are using, insecticides you are putting, the land area you are farming, if you combine that form an index and look for productivity, if you increase productivity sufficiently, farmers will get more income, you will maximize farmers' income, lakini, you will minimize prices to consumers. Kwa maana leo mchele tunazunza wanakuja, wabia raisi, kwa ni hawa na lima o, siwa kulima. Hivi nani atatua huko? Nani atatua kwenye hiyo? Kwa gmaya. Researchers, our scientists, we train using a lot of money. Universities that focus on agriculture. Tari, kwa mfano, wameshafanya research, kwenye mtama tu, ukienda pale kongwa, unaona kabisa bega kwa bega. Anakoesha mtama mbegu wa mguna ragu, enetua masia. Inabeba mpaka unashanga, na pembeni yake mtama wakawaida. Research output. Ukiluguru netu hapo, mwanza, eh? Research ya pamba, sisi output kwenye kilo, ekari moja ya pamba, tunapata kilo miambili, miambili ya msini, miatatu, miatatu ya msini. Wafanya research, you can get kilo, elfu moja. 
1500. Kuna wazee tunapata paka 2000 kwenye kilogram. And you can only do that by doing research and finding how you can increase yield. Agronomic practice. Sasa nilisema pale mwanzoni chuo kikuu kazi yake sio tu kufundisha. If your focus is only in teaching then you are nothing but a glorified high school. Your focus has to be also research. Your job is to create and disseminate knowledge. Your job is not just to disseminate knowledge. Kazi yako sio kuchukua knowledge tayari imezalishwa Canada unapeleka kwa watu tu. Hiyo ndio unafanya lakini una jaribu kuzalisha knowledge na uisambaze. Ndio kazi ya ma lecturers, ma professors, universities. Now we expect to see that. Ndio maana wakati nakuja pale uliza wapi shamba? Wapi shamba la mfano? Ulionyesha kwamba mshapiga alizeti kidogo huko. And we expect more. Hapa butiama kwa udongo wa hapa. Kwa rain pattern ya hapa. Kwa hapa kuanzia tunatarajia chuo hiki kio kinafanya research kwamba how do you increase yield given the rain pattern here? Given the soil condition here. What kind of seeds do we need? Is there the type of fertilizer that match the kind of soil to increase the yield productivity? Bila hivyo, yes, watu wataweza kujenga ma hosteli hapa ataka. Lakini tunataka mnafanya research mnaanzia na hapa hapo kwa mwalimu. Natarajia nisikie MOU mmefanya na Wizara ya Kilimo. Na tari, tari hawana kituo cha research, hawana 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 nani hapa sio? Kwa mka sign mka ufanya joint hapa mnafanya research kinachoelimwa hapa kinachoeliwa hapa iwe ni mhogo kwa sababu hata mhogo wenyewe productivity yetu ndogo sana lakini tayari washafanya research unaweza kuongeza output ya ya mhogo sana sisi tuna import wanga kutoka nje na wanga unaweza kupatikana kwenye mihogo tulipata soko la mihogo China hehe <laughs> With low yield, low productivity, utasabisha nja kwa sabi miyogo yote taenda China. Na usipofanya research ukawangeza tijia, uwezi kuindustrialize. Kwa sabi bea chakula ikipanda sana, lazima umlipe mtu hela za kutosha sana ili afanya kazi viwandani. Lakini bea chakula ikishuka sana and food constitute 50%, about 50% of the average expenditure of low income families. Even more than 50%. 60 to 70 percent. Now, if the cost of food goes down, it means subsist subsistence wage can go down. Effectively, then we can pungu zabe a chakula na mano mungeza mshara bila kuongeza amount ya money you get. Kama na pata lakimbili, be kashuka na mani lakimbili na tosha kuishi. Sindi ba naki? Who is going to do that? We said we spend a lot of money for the universities. So when we tender kuongeza na, we want to see you driving this. Pungeza tija. Kuongeza yield. Tunasema, cha kwanza, tatizo letu la kilimo, cha kwanza, kubwa ni tija, ndogo. Ndiyo mana mafta akula, tunagiza kutoka nje, wakati tunasema michikichi ilitoka kigoma, what is going on? Tunalizeti, eno kubwa la kulima alizeti, lakini mafta tunagiza kutoka nje, mlimaji mkubwa alizeti duniani, surprise, surprise, you crave. Surprise, surprise, you can check it out. Ngano, Kwa tumejaribu kufanya mapinduzi ya ngano kidogo tukatumia economic formula ndogo tukuambia wanao yagiza ngano tutumie kitu kinachoita uh, duty remission kwamba utakuwa ume exhaust purchase of ngano kwa beti ile kubaliana ambayo ni equal to CIF cost plus clearing charge at the port tukakuta beni nzuri wa kulima waka fry sana wakasema kwa tayari kulima ngano mradi tanunuliwa na wale wanao yagiza ngano kutoka nje tunaona karibu tani milioni moja kwa mwaka tukagundua watu na mbegu za ngano tukaagiza kutoka Zambia sasa Zambia na sisi tofauti yake nini we need research. So research in agronomy, research in better seeds. And then serikali saivi imeanza kujenga capability kwa means of dissemination ambani, mafsa ugae, mapuwa mapikipiki, nini taza kupelika kule, afu tukenda kwenye umwagiria jinako, itasaidia. Because the first thing is, you must increase productivity of the farmer where that farmer is. Huyu hapa hapa, na shambalaki huyu we. Atakeweza kutubalisha huko ni vio vio. Na tasisi za utafiti. Najua tari wanajitahidi. Laki sasa sisi ndio tunakapabili kubwa university. Ndio tunafundisha wala tari. Kwa hiyo, I want to see that. Kwa hiyo, professor milao. Sio kwamba ni wanafunzi tu wana wasabisha mkai hapa. Research. We want to see research output. We want to see more effort. I want to see MOU with tari. 
Nimefurahi na MOU na Taha. I was very happy nimekusikiliza vizuri sana. Kuna takri wanafanya research kuhusu kahawa, tarime sasa hivi inaanza kuongoza kwenye kilimo cha kahawa. Na then tarime yenyewe kama sikosi inazalisha kahawa nyingi kuliko mkoa mzima wa Kilimanjaro. If I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. Kigoma sasa hivi wanazalisha kahawa. We want to see research watu wanafanya ma research wanaendelea kutuambia kama tarimo wameingia kwenye kilimo hicho how do you increase the yield otherwise the, the, the crop will collapse look at sasa hivi ukiangalia uzalishaji wa kahawa duniani <laughs> Vietnam ilikuwa chini sasa hivi ni ya pili ya tatu duniani basi tumezidi kwenda chini hapo kwa hiyo kazi ya university ni research na university za kilimo tuone research kwenye kilimo kwa hiyo tukiji tukijisambaza sana bachelor of science mining engineering Bachelor of Science Energy Engineering. Bachelor of Science Mineral Processing Engineering. Mambo mazuri sana. I'm afraid of you spreading yourself too thinly and have no impact at all whatsoever. Tumedhamiria. Tunaboresha elimu yetu.